Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will show you how to do mill testing and seal testing in MATLAB Simulink. And if you want to read article on seal testing, then MathWorks is providing the free content. You can go and read this article. And we will also add this link in description. You can go and check. Okay, let me open MATLAB and wait a minute. I will open Simulink. Then I will take one blank model. So please wait for a few more seconds. Okay, let me change the name. Mill Mill Seal Testing. Fine. Okay, I will take two subsystems. I will name subsystem 1 as plant model, plant model and this one as controller model. Controller model. Plant model you can consider as actual hardware like machines or any battery pack you can consider and this controller model is known as controller to control the operations of plan model so we will take one basic example like addition okay i will take one simple example so that it will be easy to understand add add then add I will connect this, then this, then this, fine, and this. Okay, this is our plan model logic. We did the mathematical model for our plan model. And now inside controller, we will build logic. Just one basic logic we will build. Like I will use switch. And then if input is greater than zero, I will pass 20. And the input is less than zero then I will pass minus 30 fine this you can think as controller I will take one constant and this will be the input I will make this as 4 it is greater than 0 and this controller will send signal to plan model let me take one output and display fine and I will also log this output let me explain you what is mill testing that is known as model in loop in mill testing you will design mathematical model for plan model and also for controller and if you run this together then it is known as model in loop now we will go to modeling and then model settings here we have to change some settings go to solver you can change the stop time i will select fixed step then i will keep this as 0.1 and solver i will select discrete then click on apply and go to data import and export then you can save this variable to workspace i want to change the name first we are doing mill testing okay just mill i will add 
menu and then go to hardware implementation here you can select device vendor as atmel anything and then device type 32 bit you can select then come to code generation here target file just click on browse and select ert.tlc embedded code area this one this one target file you have to select fine now click on ok and now we will run this simulation if you made mathematical modeling for plant model plant model is nothing but the actual hardware it may be machine or it may be any battery pack anything and the controller then and if you run both the models together if it is known as model in loop now let me run this here you can see the output is 80 and we will go back to workspace here you can see the log data fine and now we will do the sill testing what is the difference between mill and sill testing in mill testing model in loop you will run both the mathematical models but in case of sill testing you will convert this mathematical model into C code so here in OSH machine you will make S function out of this for this what steps need to be followed let me share you let me share with you just click just right click and go to block parameters and click on treat as atomic unit fine and then just save again right click and one more thing you can do is uh, changing the names right data input and export now we are performing sill testing so you can change the name from mill to sill and later we will compare the output of mill and sill okay then right click on controller and then go to test rns create controller model then go to advanced property and verification mode you can select software in loop and then click on ok it will take few seconds please wait here you can see the s function that is known as sill testing we perform for controller you can see the s function this is known as s function or this is also it is a c code in OSH machine in the form of S function you can replace this mathematical model with the S function okay wait a minute uh, I will bring this here and this is the S function or you can call is it as C file or C code so in this I will delete in software in loop your planned model will be mathematical model okay in OSH machine and your controller will be C file. So here in OSH machine we are using S function. 
now we will run this and we will compare the output of mill testing and cell testing it will be same i will click on run here you can see that is 80 okay let me go to workspace here you can see the mill testing output and cell testing output we will do one thing we will go to simulation then data inspector we will click on this and here i will delete this but okay and now i will import data from workspace mill out then sorry wait a minute import then sell out Now we will compare the both mill results and sell results. Here you can see the output of mill testing it was 80. Okay now we will check the sell output that is it is also 80 you can see both are overlapping. Okay let me disable this. You can see only the mill testing output and now you can see the cell testing output. This is how model in loop and software in loop testing is will be done in MATLAB simulating. Okay, if you design mathematical model for both plant and controller and you run together then it is known as model in loop and in software in loop the plant model will be mathematical model only but controller will be c file here in osh machine it is s function okay i hope this video may help you all a lot thank you for watching this video have a great day